This guide will be the last guide you ever need to set up either one of these 2R4 cards right here. These 2R4 cards, pay attention, are specific R4 cards that say smart update on the front and they load a specific game called Deep Labyrinth. If your R4 card does not load a specific game called Deep Labyrinth, then this is not the guide for you. Check the R4 card playlist because I probably have a guide for your R4 card. There's older smart update cards that load SpongeBob Atlantis pants and this is not the same setup guide. Now, if you've confirmed that your cards say smart update and they load Deep Labyrinth, then we can continue forth with being notified that yes, this works with a DS Lite. Yes, it works with a DS and a 3DS, a new 3DS, a DSi, and a DSi XL. It works with all the DS family kind of consoles. I don't understand why people don't understand that, but yes, before you ask that question, it works with every console out there because these new R4 cards do work with everything. I know some of them only say 2DS, 3DS, DSi on them, but that doesn't mean that it only works for those consoles. It means that it works in all of the consoles from the DS and above because it was made for the DS originally. Now, no, this isn't gonna be a guide about how to get your games. Get your own games. I have some games right here on the table because of the ones I randomly picked, but those aren't gonna be the ones I'm showing you. I'm just gonna show you that, hey, I have some games. The other thing is to get yourself a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. There is never any reason for you to need a bigger card than a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. Why do I say that? Well, there's not more than 32 gigabytes worth of games out there. And all the emulators like Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, NES, Super Nintendo, there's a very limited amount of compatible games that work with the R4 card. NDS games, I highly doubt you're ever going to play 32 gigabytes worth of NDS games. Now that you're ready, you're ready to go, you listened to my intro, you made it to the first three minutes of the video, let's jump over to the computer and download the files that I have gathered for you for your smart update card. Let's grab our micro SD card. Yes, you can use a bigger SD card if you want to, but I highly recommend you to get a good branded micro SD card, just like this Gigastone one here. It's seen some wear and tear, but it still works and it's a good micro SD card and it's ready to go. Now, if you want to use a 128 gigabyte micro SD card, then all the power to you. The same steps apply for formatting your 128 micro SD card properly. Plug this into your computer. Now open up a web browser and type in Rufus. We are going to download a program called Rufus for our Windows PC. The latest version as of today is Rufus 4.7.exe. If there's anything newer, when you watch this video 50 years down the road, then download that version. Now navigate to your web browser or your file manager and open up Rufus. There's gonna be a little dialogue window that pops up. Just wait for that to pop up and then press yes and now you'll have Rufus installed. Now from boot selection, select non-bootable. Navigate down to where your volume label is and you can give this a name, maybe smart update card. I don't know, smart update R4, sure, why not? Make sure that you select FAT32. Make sure that you only select 32 kilobytes. Now uncheck create extended label and icon files and click on start. Click OK. Now you're on your way to format your 32 gigabyte micro SD card. Now, if you haven't already done so, download the smart update r4.hk.com.cn 2020 plus deep labyrinth zip file. I even tell you in the zip file that this is only for the deep labyrinth R4 cards that say smart update that are past 2020. Yeah, pretty, pretty smart, isn't it? Now, right click on that file and extract all. Another dialogue window is going to pop up. You're going to click extract. Now that all of those files have been extracted, you're going to navigate inside of that folder that was extracted, which is right here and copy all of these files right here. Right click on them, click copy, navigate to your smart update SD card and paste them inside of there. Now that all of these files are copied over, you're going to grab your games. Now I'm going to grab my games from my fancy spancy emulation folder. And yes, I have some games of glory inside of here. 
Now, what I'm going to do is copy Pokemon Black 2, just to show you that works, and maybe some Super Mario 64. Click copy, go to your NDS folder, and paste your games into the NDS folder. Now, all the other folders have been categorized, so SNES is for Super Nintendo, GB is for Game Boy, GBA is for GBA, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Sega Genesis, and SNES, or NES. NES, Nintendo Entertainment System. Now that you're done copying your games, you can remove your micro SD card. Now that I have removed my micro SD card, I'm gonna pick one of these R4 cards. And yes, it works in both. Don't freak out. I'm gonna use this one because this is the one you can buy on Amazon. Now, the other one is exactly the same. It's just a different sticker. Not sure who these companies are, but they all basically, I don't know use the same code i guess and they just slap a different sticker on it one says hong kong the other one says china yeah pretty interesting right now pick your ds weapon of choice and plug it in now if you get any errors or your game does not show up here for any reason make sure your contact pins are clean make sure your sd card is seated properly because sometimes that happens now click on deep labyrinth and if you get any errors when you click on Deep Labyrinth, maybe check my playlist because I might have a guide about why your errors are existing. Now you'll notice a menu right here. You can click on Start, and you'll show up with another menu, and you can go down to Settings. Now you can change your user interface style here to be like Windows XP if you want to, change it to different themes, that's all this basically is. You can change your language, you can change your file type. Now press the R button and you can go over and you can change different things like your file list style to be modern internal change your show hidden files to show hidden files to be on and off you can also change your file save extension i highly recommend you just to leave this to dot sav now the other thing is we can also change if we can reset while we're in our game or reset while we're in homebrew so what this means is that if we press the L, R, A, B, X, and Y buttons, we can leave our game inside of our NDS games, that is. It doesn't work for emulation. And basically play another game if you want. The other thing is that if you have a DS like I do, then slot 2 can be used for your GBA games. But I might do another video about that in the future. Now click B. The other thing is if you have NDS games installed, I have also added the latest cheat file for you to use it. So how do you do that? Press the Y on the game that you're hovering over, press the X on the cheat file, and you'll show up with a whole bunch of different ways to get different cheats. I can do infinite coins, all that fun jazz, and then you're gonna press the X button to press OK, and press OK again. The other thing is, if you press Y, you can see there's an option for settings as well. So settings is just basically different settings for linking to your GBA games and all that kind of stuff. So if you wanted to transfer some GBA game Pokemon to your, basically your NDS Pokemon, then you definitely can do so. Now click back and click on the game that you want to play. And there we go. Now we're in our game. Now if we want to leave the game, we press L, R, A, B, X, and Y all at the same time. And it should leave the game. Now, if you get a crash just like this, because I did this on purpose, that just means that you tried to do it while you're trying to play a game and that does happen. So basically all you have to do is shut down the console and turn it back on. And again, why that happened is because you were trying to load a game and basically tried to leave, but it does work, I promise you that. So let's do it again. Let's go into Super Mario 64 and wait till we get to the menu, for example. So basically don't do that while you're not in a menu or something. Some games, it doesn't like it. I guess maybe this is one of those games that doesn't like it. Didn't know that, I guess, I don't know. I don't know everything about all the R4 cards, but let's go back into the game again and let's change it to maybe, let's go Pokemon Black 2. So L plus R, all the buttons, and there we go, as you can see there. Now, I think there's something to do with the fact that it has cheats as well. And I think when you enable the cheats and you try to leave games, sometimes that affects it. I'm not really entirely sure, but we're gonna try that right now and see. So let's go back into the Super Mario 64. And I think it just doesn't like that game. So just ignore that. Now that's about it guys. You don't really need to know much more other than how to set up your R4 with Deep Labyrinth in 2025. Bye-bye.